Welcome back to the channel Luxury Sneaker Family. Um, what can I say? It's been a video that I've been waiting to do, uh, especially a pair of shoes that I bought back before Christmas. Um, it's, what's that? Going on a month now. Still haven't taken them out of the box, been waiting to do the video with this. Um, what can I say guys? Like I always say, I'm excited. Uh, once again, thanks for all your support. Thank you for those that are subscribed. Um, what can I say guys, let's get into it, alright, so as you can see by the box, it is the Versace Chain Reaction. What's in the box? Well, that's what we're going to do right now with this unboxing. So, without further ado guys, um, I'll open it up, we'll unpackage it, and then we'll start getting into some of the depth around some of these sneakers. Um, so as normal, typical um, Versace box, nothing spectacular. Um, so we'll place that there. Get your dust bag in here guys. Um, pretty standard, just one pair. I would have liked if it was like the Louis Vuitton ones where you actually get two. Um, one for each individual shoe. Um, but however, it is what it is. Um, oh yeah, they said my receipt. Um, so here we go. What is this one? So, what is it? Just your normal card. Nothing exciting, talks about the sneaker or sneakers in that range. Oh, there we go. So I was going to say, before I take these out of the box, um, can I tell you, in person, a hundred times better than photos. Um, so here they are. I'll take them both out and then we'll have a look at them. Still have one up, close up. here guys just so you can see it how's that that's good so guys what can I say here they are um, what are they called the Vitellio Argentino and Bianco I'll just call them silver here yeah? um, guys what can I say these shoes I've been eyeing out for some time um, I was looking in uh, obviously my boutique Versace down at the start um, asked them when I was coming in, um, like anything they said, look, you know, we should be getting them in a couple of weeks, and I just happened to be in the city with my wife, um, and we're going shopping, and I was in David Jones, and I never really went up to, for those that live in Sydney, um, I think it's level seven in David Jones on Pitt Street, um, and I noticed that they, mate, it must have been a calling, because I was literally probably 10 plus meters away from the stand, and I noticed the shoes, and straight away went up. Couldn't believe my eyes that they were these ones. Um, but these are the ones that I've been looking out for some time. For those that you know me, I've been talking about uh, Versace and my, you know, my love for the brand that's starting to come through, especially in sneakers where I used to be heavy on Louis Vuitton. Or, and I kind of lost touch with Louis Vuitton, like I said, because they weren't becoming anything too spectacular or something that I was interested in or something that was speaking to me in what I wanted to represent from a sneaker. Uh, but these guys, what can I say? Um, Got to be a little bit daring um, if you're into that style. Uh, for me, like I said to you, the sneakers are the outfit. Um, these with a pair of you know, black you know, slacks or call them jeans, whatever you want to call them. Um, and just a simple button up top. Um, I think these will do the talking. Um, as you can see guys, um, obviously silver all around um, the top, um, white laces, your typical chain reaction I believe on the insole. Um, from a front point of view guys, you've got this bit in, call it a lighter silver. Um, the design is obviously the keys in the white, uh, laces in the white, but silver, silver, and it's like a metallic silver, guys. So I don't know if the camera's pitching, picking it up too well. Um, but guys, what can I say? These sneakers are hot. Um, I've been dying to wear them. Um, however, I said, I promised myself that I would not wear it until I bought it to you guys first. Um, on the back, um, obviously Versace logo um, in silver. Um, and then when you look at underneath the shoe, guys, your typical uh, chain reaction design um, in kind of a little bit of a matte finish because obviously you know once you start wearing them they are going to wear out 
but the sides and everything are nice glossy silver with a little bit of a lighter tone in the silver and some of the parts. Um, top bit up here, uh, probably the only bit that I'd say it is nice, but you know, for me it looks like foil, um, if you want to describe it in that. Um, however, still sets off nicely with the shoes, guys. Uh, retail on these, um, $1,840 in Australia. Um, it is edging up there with some of my most expensive sneakers. Um, however, um, compared to the other training reactions I have, and we'll do an unboxing that on those in another video, um, these definitely felt a lot lighter on the feet. Call it maybe, it may be just my mind playing tricks, um, but definitely felt a lot lighter than my other chain reactions. Um, guys, I'll be honest, these shoes are not the most comfortable shoes out of the Saatchi range. Um, however, guys, um, look, you know, when it comes to fashion, you know, the, you know I'm sure the ladies can understand this. Um, you know, sometimes you've got to sacrifice a bit of pain in the foot. Um, they do sit a, a little bit higher than my other Versace sneakers, obviously being, um, you know, if you look at the heel. So if I look at it, you know, your, your heel sitting in here. However, probably on there, just before the back of the heel is how high you're sitting up in the shoe. For me, it's not an issue, guys. Like, I'm, you know, already 185 centimetres tall. Um, my wife hates when I wear these, um, and she's not wearing hers um, because, I, you know, I look a lot more taller. She's only 165 centimetres, and, you know, I'm already, you know, call it a giant compared to her. Um, these aren't helping. But what can I say, guys? Um, definitely some of my favourite sneakers. I'm grateful that I could bring them to you guys. Um, Plenty of other shoes in the range from Versace that I have that we'll do some unboxing in the future weeks for. Um, but guys, hope you like them. For those that are looking at the Chain Reaction and Seeker, guys, I'm going to say definitely something I'll be looking for if you're into that style. Um, and if you don't want your typical um, style of sneakers that are coming from some of the other houses. Um, but you know, 1800 bucks is a lot of money for a pair of shoes. Um, but if you're into them, and you know them, and you want them, guys, I'm telling you now, these are some of the styles that I'll be going for. Um, there is another style that I will color that I'm looking at. Um, not in a rush to get them, however, uh, probably might be in the distant, oh, well, not too, not too distant future. However, um, not in a rush because, guys, literally, I've got so many shoes that I haven't been able to wear as yet. But if you don't know, they do come in a white um, with a gold... Uh, I'm to say probably Sol, um, and they definitely look nice. Um, not like I said, not in a rush, uh, but definitely probably will pick them up at some point. Um, there is another story um, uh, when I cut when I cover off a you know bit of an a issue that I'm having with Saatchi at the moment. However, if it's not resolved, there's still love, um, and I will be probably getting those shoes and I'll bring them to you in the next video. Um, guys, just before we sign off, you know, like I always, I always want to say thank you for taking the time to watch these videos. Um, you know, I guess, you know, 10 minutes is not always the, you know, the greatest use of time for some people. However, for those that have liked, subscribed, and hit that bell for notification, you know, nothing but love, and I can't show you how much appreciation that I have for you. Um, it's been a great forum for me to connect with. Um, and what can I say, guys? There's so much coming our way um, in future videos. Definitely the next video I'm thinking about is one for the ladies. Um, so these are the options, girls. Um, I thought, you know what, I've covered the men's sneakers for some time, or well, you know, the last four videos, and I thought, you know what, now let's start getting into some of the ladies stuff. Because to me, like I've always said, some of the ladies sneakers that are out there, um, I wish that they came in men. So I'm giving the option to you guys in the comment section below. Um, first option, the latest in Louis Vuitton ladies um, in a sneaker. That's option number one. Remember, you gotta hit that comment in the, in the comment section to let me know what you want. Option number two, every girl's favorite, Chanel. Um, so guys, if you want to see what's in the box in the latest in Chanel, um, leave your comments below. And then final one. My, one of my other favorite brands, Dolce & Cabana. Guys, 
This is for the ladies. Please leave your comment in the section below. Is it the Louis Vuitton? Is it the Chanel? You know, like I said, one of my favorites. Is it the Dolce & Gabbana sneaker that you want to see an unboxing for in our next video? And like always, guys, uh, appreciate the support as always. If you like what you see, please like, subscribe, and don't forget that bell notification. And as always, stay safe, look after yourself, look after your family. We'll see you on the next video in our luxury sneaker collection. Um, based on these, I think we're edging 36 hours now, um, if not more. Uh, some people might say nothing to be proud of. However, if you love your sneakers, you love it, and that's why you're here. Um, we'll catch you in the next video, guys. Stay safe.